Hello there. Happy Wednesday. It's hump day. I have coffee with cream. Yes, I do. And stevia. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you. I have everything on, including, uh, you know, the Milani eyeshadow primer, which I'm not seeing where I put it. Yes, it's right in front of me because it's always right in front of me, it seems. This is on as well. I'm going to put some powder on. I have my face done. Um, I feel like I look the same in every video. I have this shirt on in other videos, too, because I only... You know, I don't have a huge, gigantic wardrobe. <laughs> so, ooh, just went right in my eye. So anyway, it is a different day than the last time I wore this shirt. Today is January 11th, 2023. It is Wednesday, and I am here to get ready, hang out with you, say hello. And I did my eyebrows. I did... So I did the Wet n Wild eyebrows in ash brown. I did the Avino Baby in 50, the L'Oreal Beach Bay, which is just a luminizer for your body and your face and or your face. And then I put used I used the the Wet n Wild um, photo photo focus foundation in Dewy, and this is the. Um, it is a soft beige color. I think it might be a little bit too um, yellow for me, but it seems to be working pretty good. So I'm sticking with that. And like I said, I have my coffee with some cream. <gasps> I'm a happy girl. No more chest hair today. I say no more chest hair because in my last video I talked about I drink black coffee fairly often and I'm not crazy about it, so I say it puts hair on my chest. All right, which is a joke, if you didn't know that, <laughs> which I'm sure you probably knew. Anyway, I am going to pick my friend up at the airport today, so I'm very excited about that. It'll be good to have her back, and um, I'm going to get started. I'm going to use my... First, I'm going to use my... Um, Maybe I should use something else. You guys are probably getting really sick. I was going to use the strobing stick. I am going to use some on my nose real quick. I don't know. I just feel better about that, which I've told you before. Any leftover, I just kind of put right there. Um, maybe I'll use something else in my eye area. Maybe I will use... This is very white. I have this little... I've used it before with you guys, the Maybelline. Um, it's 10Q. It's Mocha Motion. It's this little palette. Um, I'm going to use that white. I'm going to try that. That's more of what I used to do when I was younger. The reason I like the strobing stick is that it's not white. You know what I mean? But we'll do this. Just for something different, I like to try different things. Okay, so you can kind of see. That looks good. It's not overly anything. It's not overly white. And it's not overly, it's not sparkly at all. So, I wouldn't say it's a matte, though. It has some light sparkle. Yeah, excuse me. That looks good. I think I'll take a little bit with a smaller brush and put in the inner corners. Just kind of brighten that. Oh, it sounds like there's... I'm the only one home, but it sounds like the TV's on. Maybe the TV is on, actually. I might have left it on out there. Our little girl pee peed on the floor because I didn't get up in time. I've been sleeping in the bed because I was sleeping on the couch a lot because, you know, because it extends out and then I can hear her, but it was hurting my legs. So <clears throat> I'm back in bed and it's much better, but I didn't set my clock to get up at like two. I would have to get up at like two and then go out there and sit for probably a, possibly an hour because she gets up between two and three. I could wake her up, but I just don't have a heart to. And while I'm not working right now outside the home, I just want her to be able to be comfortable. So, I am... Um, anyway, back to what I was saying is... I forgot what I was saying exactly, but it's just that um, I'm in the bed now. <laughs> no, it was something else. What was the reason? 
Oh, she peed on the floor. That's what. See, it always comes back to me. Um, I'm going to use this color right now, too, as I finish telling you about the urine on my dining room floor. Thankfully, it's tile, so that's good. Um, and she, anyway, so didn't get up. Um, she had pee pee, but it was already kind of dry by then, by the time I got up this morning and, um, she had walked it all over the place. So there, all there was, was like footprints everywhere and, um, wash her little feet. Um, anyway, so I had to mop and all that good stuff this morning. I guess I was just letting you know that I mopped this morning. Oh, that's why the TV was on. That's what I'm saying. Because I can see the TV from the dining room. Ta-da! I finished a complete, <laughs> a complete thought. Okay. So, you know, yesterday I was telling you that I buy palettes and I don't use all of the colors. So, you can see what I use. This one a lot, and this one a lot, and this one a lot, a lot, and this one, and this one. Okay. I don't use this one a lot, don't use that one, that one, that one, or that one. I was thinking I would not use all of those today, but before I go and buy another palette, I was gonna challenge myself, because I was gonna challenge myself, um, and you guys might wanna do this too, to at least try all of the colors. So if I have a fear of some of these colors on my skin tone or something like that, I'm gonna go ahead and try them anyway. I did like this little little jobber that I was just using. This is the one I was just using. I use this and then I use that. I, I've had this for probably two years or something. And I always thought it wasn't good colors for me. Come to find out, it's pretty good. It looks pretty good on me. And I'm pretty happy with how it is. Actually, I need to go up a little higher. I'm gonna use this color still. Anyhow. Um, uh, so I'm challenging myself because it costs money, you know, even though e.l.f. of course is, is really economical. I'm using the fluffy brushes to kind of work that out a little. Um, I still, there's something about, you know, not trying some stuff after, after trying some things and realizing, hey, actually I do kind of like it. Why would I not try the others? So I'm thinking that maybe I would end up using these um, until they're gone before I ever buy another palette. Maybe, and maybe not. Do you have your drink? Do you have your tea or your coffee or your anything, your soda? I hope you do so that we can hang out and have something to drink. All right, let's see. Oh, I do one. I wanted to try, I guess I'll do it next time. I'm gonna do this. I just was gonna use it in a different way. This is the Brilliant Eyes. Um, let's see. Oh, and I bought this too last night. My mom felt like she was getting sick last night and I really have found that Zycam Meltaways work really well to kind of stave the cold off. And if you do end up still getting it, then it can kind of shorten the, the time that you have it. And so I ran to, uh, my husband and I actually ran to Walgreens last night and got her some Zycam and while I was there, cause I ran in. Oh honey, I'll go in. Uh, they have like a ton of cosmetics there and I did not, I had hardly any time to look, but I did get this. <laughs> it is a NYX um, Epic Wear. It's a liner stick and it's um, in deepest brown. And I have that, um, that gypsy blue that I wear sometimes that I really liked. I liked how smooth it was and I can't open it. You know how this is, right? This little, all this, the packaging. There, I got it, I think. Anyway, I'm gonna use that today. So I'm excited about that. Oh, there we go. So we got the Zycam to her, so I'm hoping that she'll feel better. I'm not gonna call her yet. Oh, wow, this is way different than the other one. This is different than the Gypsy Blue. I'm sure it's good. We'll try that in the end. Okay. Um, so I'm going to do, I'm going to use this very rusty brown in the crease. I'm going to really top it off because I don't want it to be very dark. And I think it might be. Oh, so far so good. Um, anyway, I hope she feels better. 
my sweet little mama. So you guys might want to challenge yourself too to see if you want to at least try the colors that you rarely try. I mean, if you know for sure, like I'm not going to use flat out, you know, bright orange or something that would not look good on me or yellow. Ooh, that would look really bad on me. I've actually used this before, just not very often. I like this brush. It's the e.l.f. one. It's very you know, compact or very, you know, the Brussels are really compacted in there and it's got this little thing like this, which I think is to dip out. I'm not sure. I'm gonna use a fluffy brush and kind of work it a little. You guys, if you've never, I just recently got this brush. I mean, probably in the last maybe month. And I, I don't want to say I love it. I don't want to say I, I like it. <laughs> I love it. Okay, well, there's that. Okay, a little sip with cream and stevia. Yum, okay. So, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and move forward and I think I'm going to use this wet and wild color icon and I'm going to, wow, it's hard sometimes to tell what colors look like, huh? Hmm. I think I'm going to use some of this gray right here and just oh, super lightly. Oh, my nose is itching. Super, super lightly. So I'm going to use this brush, my Let It Go brush. This is pretty, it's, it's a brush that is not very dense. That's the word I was looking for before, dense. So I'm going to get a little bit of this gray. I'm going to put it on my lid. I do like gray on my lid, I will say. I don't really like it in my crease area, but I do like it in my, on my lid. See, I like how that looks much better than that, even though I can barely see it in my phone. I'm probably not gonna curl my hair today. And I imagine I'm probably gonna park and go in and get her. Because I think that's what she would want. I don't know. When my sister flies here, she uh, she's so used to flying and everything, she just like, just pick me up. So what you do is, you know, you wait until they text you and say, I'm, I'm here. And then you drive over and then you quickly pull up and you quickly, before they yell at you, quickly get your person in, get their luggage in quickly, 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 before they think that you're going to do something bad. <laughs> Just kidding. That's kind of what it feels like. All right. Well, Oh, what is happening? That looks terrible. Maybe I can use my finger. Maybe it's going to be way too dark. Don't you like using the different tools, you know, a brush here and a finger there and just make it work? I am doing a little darker today. Not, not because that was a plan, but that's just how it's working out. And I like to go dark sometimes. Okay. I think I wore darker eyeshadow than any of my girlfriends or my sister. All right, so. Uh, hmm. I hear you guys saying, stop, stop. I'm gonna stop. I am gonna go underneath, underneath, underneath. I will use some of the that rusty color in the elf one the first the one that I used in the crease
So are you at work today? Are you at home today? Are you done with your job today? Are you getting ready with me? Or did you already get ready? Wow. <clears throat> little too much on that side especially all right I think I'm also going to go with the gray a little bit of gray just gonna I'm gonna barely touch it I don't know if you can see but I'm just gonna just get the very tippy top tip in there of the brush and I barely got any because of that All right, well, there it is. I'm gonna use some of this brown, my new, which I've never used this before. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. In fact, it's, it said deepest brown was the name of it. It is not deep. What is happening? It's very smooth though. I do like that. I don't like how it's so, I don't like how fat this is, and then it's just stubby at the end. It makes it kind of hard to use it. I don't know. We'll see. So I was listening to one of my favorite artists, singers, which is Bob Seger. Listening to him as I was putting my face on earlier on my, my, on my you know, foundation and all that stuff. He's getting older. I hope that he doing well so I feel like this brown's a little light so I'm going to um, get another brown a deeper brown and I guess I'll use that smoke and shadows sorry about the loudness this is that smoke and shadows by Morphe this one this is the lid And I'm just going to go over that a little bit to kind of make sure it's all set in. I think it's going to be good. I just need to get used to it. I usually use darker. Darker. And I think it'll look good with this uh, gray and everything, this brown. So it was something new that I, I got. Okay. So our oldest daughter and her family got a new puppy, not a German Shepherd. That's the youngest daughter. Our middle daughter has uh, two dogs. She has a hound dog, like a bloodhound that was a rescue. And they, uh, her and her husband have her and then they have he had a dog when they got married he's a visala I think that's how you say it and then they have um the dog that she had when they got married so they got the hound together um and she had a dog that was part mastiff part I think part mastiff and part hound He's, his name is Boone, and he is precious. They're all, I mean, I've never met the hound. Um, they got her when they were in the, I told you she lives, uh, she lives in another state because she's in the military. And um, she's a captain in the military. Isn't that cool? She's done really well. Her husband is not in the military. Um, anyway, all of our all of our all of our kids have animals except our son because he's not established anywhere. But I think he would like to have a dog. I mean, actually, the dog that I take care of is his dog. But you know, he couldn't take her with him, and so. But when he comes over, he visits with her and takes her outside. Doesn't visit with her very much. I'm always like, take her for a walk. 
which I know you guys might think, what, your dog likes to go for a walk when she can't see, but she does. My husband and I took her Sunday, I think. It wasn't raining and we took her to the park and she's on a leash. And it's one of those, uh, it's not a leash around her neck, it's like a harness leash. And she loved it. I mean, she's marking her territory everywhere. She didn't pee for almost a whole day after that. <laughs> Cause she had let out, I mean, she was squatting everywhere. We just love her so much. She's so sweet and you know, she's just, I wish we could afford to get her eyes fixed because you can. She's like super uh, energetic. She's uh, very healthy except for her stinking eyes. I mean, she can't hear either, but it's her eyes that really, really bring her down, you know? And I, and I know it costs thousands of dollars. So... But, you know, that's how it is, unfortunately. We can't get what we want all the time. Oops. Um, anyway, so the, the new puppy that our oldest daughter and her family had, they already had a Jack Russell, but it wasn't a long-legged. I never, never even knew these existed. It's a shorter-legged Jack Russell. And he's sweet. And... um. Now they have a, a boy, a boy puppy who is um, a corgi. So now they're gonna have two little short-legged dogs. <laughs> anyway, um, do you guys have any animals? Are you at a point where I'm at where I'm toying whether to get another animal or not? And I and this whole time, like, cause we've had big dogs. I mean, we had Rottweiler, we had Lab, we had, we found a hound up in the mountains. Ooh, I'll have to tell you guys about that. Um, let me remember to tell you guys about Esther. Her name's Esther. I, that's what we named her. Um, are you where you're kind of like, well, you know, the kids are out of the house and I, you know, or maybe, I don't know, wherever you're at in life, you're thinking, you know, do I really want another animal right now? Or do I want to not have that responsibility? I'm kind of there. But then I go over to my daughter's house and yes, I see the puppies and yes, they just grab my heart, of course. But I like her dogs. So they have the male and the female. They have the mother and the father, both amazing, sweet. Like the, the girl is very, she's very loving, but she's also very independent and very, um, she's a leader. And then they have the boy who's a little bit younger than her and he's a little bit bigger than her. And he's just like a talker uh, and he's so, he's like extra sweet. And oh, the, the girl likes to cuddle. Like if you lay down, she'll like just cuddle right up to you, this German Shepherd dog mom. And then the boy, he doesn't cuddle, but he just like, he like rolls around next to you and just talks. Um, they're both not, you know, yippers or any of that, um, but so anyway, like we'll stand there and I'm like looking at the puppies and then one of her dogs is standing there and I'm just standing there and touching the back of the dog. And I think, man, I really love having big dog. I've had big dogs. I had the dog I had when I first met my husband, he was a rescue and he was half Siberian Husky and half Springer Spaniel. And he was beautiful and sweet and very smart. And anyway, um, so I had that dog and then together we got a Rottweiler, which was not my choice, but he was wonderful. Um, but he always had like body issues. And so that was hard. But, um, and then we, ha we've had, like I said, the, the girl that we found in the mountains, she was a Walker hound and we named her Esther. And then we've had the Black Lab. We've had a Golden Retriever. No. Yeah. Golden Retriever. Anyway. We've been married for a long time, so we've had quite a few animals, and they all live long, um, you know, and we, our, our black lab, he was actually half black lab and half, um, I'm sorry, half black lab and half golden retriever, but he just looked like a beautiful black lab, and oh my gosh, that was the last big dog that we had, and he was just the sweetest boy, just so sweet, and we still miss him so much. I mean, we miss all of them. But anyway, I think, man, just a big dog, just a hug and, you know, for protection. And um, 
Anyway, where are you at? Do you have little, and then there's little dogs. They're just the best. Like you just pick them up. Their little poops are little. You know what? Honestly, when it comes down to it, it's always better to have that, that being to love, I think. As much as it can be a pain and everything to have an animal to take care of, to get the love that you get from the animal and to give, I mean, that actually takes precedence over oh, such a pain. Or they can be, you know, a lot of work. So that's why people end up, keep, they keep getting them over and over and over again. So this is, this is the look. <laughs> I'm going to go get my friend. And you guys, I'm stretching. You guys stretch too. You want to stretch with me? No matter if it's day or night, let's stretch. All right. I will be thinking of you guys. This ended up longer than I was trying to do for you guys. I was. That's why I had all my like face stuff on so that it could be shorter for you guys and you didn't have to sit through all my, and the, you know, all the stuff that I do. Anyway. All right, you guys, I will be thinking of you. I always do. Stay focused on making your heart's desires uh, happen and be sure and pray about them first. And, um, you know, stay focused and keep going and you're going to do it. You're going to do it every day. It's brand new. Every moment is a brand new opportunity. You don't have to wait till the next day. All right. I will see you later and I will be thinking about you. I'm looking right here at the thing because I have to in order to push it. All right. I'll see you later. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you right here. Okay. Bye.